In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to use a grey card and Adobe Camera Raw to correct the white balance in your image. And then I'm going to show you how to correct lens distortion uh, using Adobe Camera Raw uh, with a raw file. Uh, so first up, we're going to open um, your images. Now, oddly enough, um, if you were to just use the the open button from the uh, Photoshop browser window it won't open the files uh, in the way that I want them to be open so you must go uh, via the file and open menu okay now you'll see here I've got two files that I want to open um, gallery GC and gallery gallery GC is a gray card so in that shot I've got a gray card that I'm going to use as a reference point to help correct the white balance in these images. Um, but in order for me to make this work, I need to select both of them. So I'm going to select the image that we're actually going to use at the end anyway. And I'm going to select that first, and then I'm going to hold down the shift button and then click on our image with the gray card in it and then open. Okay, what should happen at this point is that you'll see that both images open at the same time and you'll see that uh, they're both represented uh, on the left hand side. Now this doesn't just have to be two images, this could be a whole photo shoot. Um, but the important thing to remember with a grey card is that you actually photograph it in the same light um, that your photo shoot is going to happen. And if you change the lighting or you're, you change uh, where that photo shoot is happening, then you must re-photograph a grey card and make a new reference point. Um, so all I'm going to do, and it's very simple, is I'm going to click on uh, the, um, the thumbnail with the grey card in it first, and you can see the grey card there nestling in the, uh, in the background, um, in the gallery there, there you go, uh, and you'll see that it's not actually in the shot I'm going to use. So I'm going to click on the grey card first, and then I hold down the shift key, and then click on the other image or other images if it's a whole photo shoot and then quite simply I'm going to go up to the top here and choose the white balance tool and then I'm just going to click in the middle of the grey card okay and you'll see that it instantly um, corrects corrects the image all right and you'll see when we go back into the original it's also corrected that one as well and you can see how much clearer it is. Um, now at this point I'm just going to make some alterations to um, uh, the exposure and the contrast. I'm just going to bring the highlights down a little bit and bring the shadows down a little bit, bring the exposure up and add just a little bit of clarity. There we go. Okay, what we're going to do now is remove that massive amount of distortion because this is photographed on a, on a virtual uh, fisheye lens. Um, so we do that by clicking up here on lens corrections and um, we're going to do two things here. We're going to remove the chromatic aberration. Um, now some cameras have really bad chromatic aberration, others don't. Um, but you know it's not going to do much harm by clicking that but also it's got enable profile corrections now there's a big library of lens profiles um, contained within Adobe Camera Raw and it can apply these corrections um, to your image because it and, and it can use that in a way that removes the distortion so if I now click enable profile collections Corrections, you'll see it remove this huge amount of distortion. All right. Now, there is a couple of problems we're going to have with this, and let's see if we can reveal them. Um, so, I actually um, want to rotate our image a little bit. Um, so, if we go up to our transform tool up here. Then we can we can actually add some rotation to it. 
Okay, now you'll see there's quite a lot of horizontal um, distortion and this is where one of the problems um, will start to reveal itself. And there you go. Okay, so what you'll notice is that we've removed a significant amount of detail off the right hand side of the image um, and you can start to see where um, you can start to see the red edge of the original frame that is bowing in there uh, from the corrections. Now you can offset this to a certain extent by using the offset but can you see how we're really restricted to the amount of um, that we can alter this by. Uh, so just be aware that you might actually lose um, more than you expect from this. All right. Also, um, I've used this lens on this particular camera um, to kind of sh as an example. And if I was going to uh, get a shot like this, I wouldn't necessarily use that lens and camera um, combination in any other circumstances. When we're happy with it, we click open. All right, and then we can open our image in Photoshop and then work on it in any which way we want to.